15 as a disabled student. Thank you so much, Becky. And that echoes so much of my experiences as well. It's the whole thing about sticking out like a sore thumb, kind of like expecting to manage by yourself and also being treated like somebody with three heads. But you have got three heads, haven't you? <coughs> yeah, so um, thank you for that. I'm not going to take too much time, actually, because I'd like you to have a few minutes of questions. But I'm a long-time uh, lesbian feminist um, for about the last 40 years, um, and I've been around the block many, many times. I've been snarling at the patriarchy and agitating for inclusion since 1980, both in and outside the women's movement. I believe that women's struggle speaks to the experience of all women, disabled women's struggle, that is. That liberation of one group must not be the expense of another group which is why solidarity is hugely important and why constantly I am disappointed by the lack of it amongst the women's movement. Many of us belong to more than one marginalised group and sometimes it's very difficult to choose which bits we're going to worry about today. I often talk about coming out three times. I came out as a disabled person in about 1979. It's strangeness, I've been disabled since... Well, all my life, actually, but uh, anyway. But I, coming out as disabled meant I recognised myself and the power of me and the beauty of me as a disabled person. Actually, being a disabled person was not wrong. Until then, I had thought it was my fault, not society's. Then I came out as a woman. And that may sound strange, because I've been one of those all my life as well. I've been female all my life. But I came out as a woman in recognising that as a woman, I had a place in society and that it was actually very important indeed to smash patriarchy and that misogyny was alive and kicking everywhere. And I learned to love myself in all that I am as a woman. Inevitably, as part of that whole coming out as a woman, I began to challenge the kind of dominant sexual orientation around heterosexuality. And to me, hand in hand in smashing the patriarchy comes the understanding of the compulsory, compulsory requirement to be heterosexual and how Challenging that is a very beautifully deviant thing to do. The issues way back then for disabled women were sexuality and reproductive rights, access and inclusion, respect, dignity, positive images, combating violence against disabled women, the right to work, no different from what they are today. Today, the fight is about surviving, and Francis has talked to you very eloquently about the whole issue around um, austerity. But when we live in a society which blames us and says that we are the expensive ones, we are the problems, it is a society that is talking about the useless eater. It is a society no different from that which killed thousands of disabled people in Nazi Germany. There is no difference in the dialogue that's going on today in the dialogue that's going on around austerity, which is kind of like the primary thing that stops us being equal at this moment in time, and which has been focusing the minds of disabled people and disabled women hugely, because if we can't get out of bed to get here, how the hell can we argue for the revolution? Now, did we skip on quickly? Where are we? Time? Okay. And what's been very interesting uh, about that whole dialogue around austerity and the use of eaters is that actually hate crimes against disabled people has actually soared as a direct result of all those slurs of the scroungers and this terrible kind of like societal attitude which seems to see that the things that we need to bring us to a place of equality are somehow perks. And it's such an outrage and this is very much aligned to the austerity mindset um, my activism comes from my socialism and my understanding of equality and diversity it comes from my experience as a woman a disabled person as a lesbian okay um, I, I remember the barriers that stopped disabled people being equal, the ones that have been affecting us today, and uh, the other uh, women on the panel have been speaking about those. Um, and they are actually bigger than things like the economy. They're very much about the right to exist and the attitude to who we are. And I think as disabled feminists, we have to continue the argument 
within the women's movement and outside around why we should be ex included, but also more importantly, what are the issues that affect us? And I think with that, I'm not going to say any more because I would like us to have a few moments for questions, so thank you very much.